Okay, so we're joined by Stephen Sim. Stephen, you've been involved with Fofa Farmer and the under for a few weeks now. How's it been for you? It's been good, yeah, it's been a good start. Um, obviously, <laughs> the way things have been with the COVID restrictions and all the rest of it, we've, we haven't been able to play any uh, performance league games. But we've managed to get a few friendlies in and the stuff that we've done in training, the work we've been doing, everyone's been working hard and we've done a power of work in there. And we're just ready to get going with the competitive games where we can, but you know, we're, uh, we're struggling a little bit with that at the moment, but we just need to wait and see what happens. The process has been going well for you in the aspect. You beat Grampian recently, you had a defeat to Aberdeen, but is Priest know about getting the right development into the players for when, if you do get a, re a, a league start? Yeah, I, I mean, the way that things had been for the start of the year, I mean, they, they, they didn't really have a pre season, you know. They, they, the restrictions were, uh, were were a problem for us, and, and we didn't really manage to get much of a pre-season in terms of training. So, getting the minutes in the legs and in the friendly games has been good, uh, and they've done a really uh, a really good job of getting themselves uh, up to speed in those games. So, like I say, hopefully we we'll just get ready for the, for the season as and when it starts. Um, but but yeah, I mean, mostly about getting getting the girls up to speed and, and, and into the way that we want them to develop and we want them to play. But uh, up until now, they've done a great job with that. How good is it having the 19s playing with the first team in terms of uh, the first team winning the 19, 19s players for the experience? It's been it's been really good having, you know, there's been two or three players who have stepped into the, the first team squad again and again, you know, for the last few weeks. Uh, they've been training again here tonight and we, we mix in with them on a, on a, a Wednesday night where we can. Uh, where restrictions allow, obviously. Um, but for our girls to, to see the level that they need to get to, it's a, it's a, that kind of sets the bar for them. We played on Sunday and we got to, we reached that level a couple of times. You know, we, we, we got to that level during that game. But it's about keeping that going, getting the consistency, so that the girls you know, know what they need to do on a week-to-week -week basis, and not just you know, raising their game for in training games against the first team. In terms of your time at Fofa so far, how have you been? How has the relationship been with the committee and all that so far, and Ryan, the manager? But... It's been good. Obviously, I'm travelling through from from Aberdeen, so I don't see everyone as much as uh, as everyone else does. I'm not around the area as much, um, but you know, I keep in contact with with the, the guys in the committee and Ryan, uh, and I speak to the guys on the training nights as well. So everyone's been really welcoming, and it's been a, a good start. I'm really, uh, you know, really happy here, and hopefully, you know, we can we can keep that going, and then <laughs> whenever these uh, competitive games start, we'll, we'll really we'll really see the best of it. So, uh, but it's been a really good start. Yeah. Perfect. Well,